we begin tonight with breaking news. A disturbing discovery in Queen Village. A doll found hanging from a tree at a playground. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jessica Dean. And I'm Yuki Washington. Philadelphia police and the mayor say they are committed to finding out who placed the black baby doll in the park. Eyewitness News reporter Anita O oh is in front of the playground where this all took place. Anita. Well, Yuki and Jess, we decided to blur that image of that black baby doll because it is too disturbing. The police commissioner tells me that it is unsettling that this not only happened at a playground where children play, but also at the original burial ground for an historic African American church. Very sickening and vile thing to uh, discover. That's how Philadelphia Police Commissioner Richard Ross described the disturbing find by a city worker at a Queen Village playground. An African American doll hanged on a telephone wire by a makeshift noose. The symbolism is way too strong. Uh, way too powerful and, and way too toxic. Firefighters removed the doll around 2 30 Thursday afternoon, but not before Reverend Mark Tyler saw it and posted it to social media. Sadly, I'm not surprised. Tyler says the playground is the original burial ground for Mother Bethel AME Church. For a person of color in this country, I would say there's really no place that I would go that I could say, oh, in this place, I know I'm safe. It's just not been my history. Tyler adds that Mayor Jim Kenney personally called him about the incident. The mayor also released a statement that reads in part, quote, the city will do everything in its power to bring the people responsible to justice for this disgusting act. And that message echoed by Commissioner Ross. We're going to find you. I mean, we're going to use all the resources uh, that we can to find you. And these security cameras are posted right outside of this playground. Investigators say that their hopeful footage on here will have caught the incident. Coming up on Eyewitness News at 6, the city's executive director for the Commission on Human Relations explains a recent trend in hate crimes like these. Live in Queen Village, I'm Anita O, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Anita, thank you.